Hello and welcome to Crosstalk. Here at Crosstalk, we are an international ministry that is focused on spreading the gospel to the whole world. It's important that the gospel be presented in context and that people understand who we're talking about yeah. and the history that kind of shapes that story and helps it become so much more, more colorful. It says, how then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him in whom they have not heard? Mm -hmm. And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who preach the gospel of peace, who bring glad tidings of good things. If we don't go, if we don't bring the word of God, if we don't share this message to everyone, everywhere, in every language, every tongue, every culture, then we can't expect that they're gonna just know. We yeah. have a calling to go. That's why here at Crosstalk, we focus so much on missions and on our project that's called Today with God. We use this project to give people the word of God in their own native language. To find out more about that, I'm gonna to cut to my uncle, Pastor Ben Weiss, on our most recent trip to India to give you a little bit more of understanding. Hello, welcome to Hyderabad, India. My name is Ben Weiss. I'm here with Crosstalk and the Today with God project, and I am so glad that you're part of what we're doing today. I wanna to introduce you to what I know of the Today with God project. I've been working with the Today with God project since 2012, and my role has been to help with the curriculum. I was introduced to the project by my father, Dr. Randy Weiss, and my brother, Josh Weiss. And what we've been doing is going around the world, doing our best to tell people about the Lord Jesus Christ. What we do with the Today with God project is help people by resourcing them with the visual Bible. We've come to believe and understand that many people around the world struggle with reading, but they don't struggle with seeing video that has Jesus Christ speaking for himself. We've translated the Gospel of John uh, from the Visual Bible, the Book of Acts, as well as Matthew and Luke. And what we're doing is sending the Bible around the world through video means. If you're new to the Crosstalk family and you've never heard of Today with God, what we've done is we've made the decision we are going to send the Bible around the world and get it into as many native tongues as we can. We've learned that when you hear Jesus speak to you, in your own language, it means much more than an American coming around the world and telling you what you should believe. So the curriculum that we've developed to go along with the video is a conversation piece. It asks you questions, uh, it allows you to have conversation, and it allows the listener to come to the conclusion, this is what I believe, rather than the leader of the group telling you what you should believe. We have principal concepts, we have principal questions, and the desire is, to help you come to your own understanding that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior. What we've done here in Hyderabad on this trip is we've met with a group of about 30 pastors. We gave them the resources when it comes to Today with God, specifically the Gospel of John and who is Jesus. We went through some ways that you can use the materials, whether it would be cell groups or starting home churches or even in personal one-on-one -on -one discipleship. And we went through a full lesson with them. Then. We allowed them to lead a lesson with us, and then we've stepped away and we've allowed them to lead the lessons themselves. We've learned that the pastors in the local regions, wherever it would be, we happen to be in India, have a better understanding of how to best use the resources. So if we tell them what to do, we're giving them instructions based on our understanding of how we would use it in America. But if we give them the resources and we release them to use the tools the way that they want to use them, it will go much further. When you see the curriculum for the first time, what you'll see is my father, Dr. Randy Weiss, coming out and being a tour guide. He will share with you maybe location. He might share with you a deeper understanding of what the scriptures are referencing. But we're in no ways attempting to give denominational impact. We're not trying to tell you what you have to believe or what you should believe. We're just giving you the references as they come across through the visual Bible. With that, we've tacked on the curriculum which again is a conversational piece, asking you questions like, what do you think 
the light of the world is. When Jesus is doing miracles, we'll ask questions like, what's the difference between magic and miracles? What's the power behind magic and miracles? And then as you come in contact with those who are listening and being taught in the classes, you'll find that they have different answers. There's no wrong answers. We want them to come to their own conclusions. But by the end of the class, the hope is that principal concept or that principal question will become uh, the answer that everybody in the room will come to a conclusion of. When you see the Gospel of John, it's the good news translation. The other versions are the NIV, and what you get is word-for-word -word translation. We're in no way adding to it or taking away from Scripture. The thought is, let me hear Jesus speak in my language. Specifically on this trip, we worked with 30 pastors. We gave them resources and the tools of the visual Bible. When they saw the resources, they were excited because we have been able to produce Today with God in the top 11 languages here in India. Some of them drove 12 hours so that we could resource them with these tools. Our, our hope and our prayer is that they'll take this to their hometown, to their villages, and they will now use these tools to reach their people. We understand they know their people better than we do. And so now they have been equipped and they are excited. They've been given tools they haven't had before. We believe they'll use those tools to start churches. They'll use those tools to do cell groups. They'll use those tools for daily discipleship. And we're excited to hear about all that God's gonna do there. I've personally been able to go to Cuba. I've been able to go to India. Uh, and we intend on having this go around the world. In Cuba, my first trip was 2013. We met with four different churches across the island. They also had two seminaries. And from 2013 to 2017, we know from them that they shared it with more than 50,000 people. Amongst that, they, they started 43 churches and we saw more than 5,000 people come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. How exciting is that? We're so excited to see what God can do here in India. Cuba is a nation of 11 million people. And in four years, we saw that kind of results. Here in Hyderabad, there's almost 11 million people just in this city alone. Imagine what God can do taking these resources across the nation of India. It was 2004 when I heard my father, Dr. Randy Weiss, cast a vision for using these tools specifically in India. And it's taken us more than 20 years to arrive here today. We've tried over and over again to get translations. Sometimes the translations were just not good translations. Sometimes the people said they would do it and they weren't able to complete the project. But now we've met Alfred and Alfred has been a godsend. God orchestrated an appointment between my brother Josh and Alfred. And here we are today with the 11 languages in John and they're working on the other translations as well. I can't tell you how excited we are to be reaching the largest nation in the world, the greatest population in the world and the most unreached peoples. What can God do here in India? We have yet to find out, but we are believing for incredible things, exceedingly, abundantly, above all we can ask or think. I wanna share quickly the evolution of this project. The evolution of this project, as far as my involvement, started in 2013, when we smuggled two DVD duplicators and hundreds of DVDs into the first country we went to. I sat in a room for hours making DVDs, copying them over and over and over again, so that we could resource the pastors across the island of Cuba. This was our best efforts at the time. It was the latest technology, and it was the best way we could figure out how to duplicate and send across the nation. Then as we developed new technology, it, it turned into thumb drives, and we would smuggle in thousands of thumb drives, and we would be able to give those pastors a thumb drive with the Gospel of John or who is Jesus. And then we went again, and we were able to give them the Book of Acts. And this is how we've been able to see the gospel move forward through the Today with God project. When I was in Mexico in 2022, I was meeting with a pastor who asked me the question, can I just download this? And when I returned home, I went to my father, Dr. Randy Weiss, and I went to Josh and I said, hey, do we have the ability to have them just download the information? From that conversation, here we are today in 2023, and we met Alfred and we've met other people where we are now in the process of trying to develop the app. A desire for people to be able to see the Gospel of John, the Book of Acts, the, the entire visual Bible project, Today with God, 
in an app where it can go around the world without us ever having to go, without us having to bring duplicators and DVDs or thumb drives. The hope is we can develop this into every nation and every tongue, and you can just log into the app wherever you're at around the world and be able to download all of the files, all of the curriculum, and use it individually, or use it in your churches, or use it to do discipleship or evangelism wherever you're at. Why is the app important? Well, we had to smuggle in DVDs. We had to smuggle in thumb drives. We have to smuggle in the education through the curriculum. We have to personally go to get it there. We can't mail these projects. But around the world, there's persecution. There are nations I am unable to get to. I couldn't bring the drives even if I wanted to. But an app, everybody has a phone. We're in the nation of India, and one of the pastors told me there are more smartphones than there are toilets in this country. The reality is, is everybody has a phone. And to download an app, they are not gonna get in trouble. But if they had a thumb drive, they might be persecuted, they might be sent to jail. But if they just download an app, as an individual, they can get it. As a church, they can get it. And the hope is we can send this to China. We can send this to Russia. We can send this to Arabic nations or, or nations where we don't have a foothold. But they can log into an app because we sent them a link. And here we go, and the gospel is going forward all around the world. I've already shared with you about meeting with the 30 pastors here in Hyderabad. Let me share with you some of the testimonies that they shared with us about the Today with God project. I work in God's ministry past 40 years. This program is very useful for me, my ministry also. This is very different, uh, very useful for me and my ministry. I have a privilege to attend this uh, crosstalk seminar, a uh, two-day seminar. Really, I learned many things uh, in these two days. I would like to take this uh, 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 visual methods to the, towards uh, unreached uh, people. Uh, I pray that uh, this will be uh, developed and go through all the unreached people. Uh, especially uh, pray uh, uh, the tools we need in India and also uh, the requirement of uh, uh, ministries, crosstalk ministries. They, uh, they would like to develop uh, a mobile app to reach uh, uh, unreached or every uh, all throughout the world. So I would like to convey all the uh, uh, donors or uh, prayer partners, please uh, support this ministry and so that we may, India people may reach uh, uh, more and more uh, souls. Thank you, one, one and all, and thank you for this wonderful privilege. When you listen to some preacher, you just listen and you leave there. After a minute, you can forget that. But when you watch and when you see that visuals with your eyes, you can keep it with your heart, within your heart, at least for 70% of the people can reach there. So I believe that this method is a very good one uh, to go to the unreached people and serve the Lord and bring the souls and we can work in the extension of His kingdom together. And app which we were, uh, which Josh was talking about will be very helpful because everybody can't go and have the equipment. So if that comes up in the mobile with an app, we can use it uh, because mobiles are everywhere around now so that would be very helpful and grateful and we will be blessed and it will be blessing to the nation so i would also pray let the app come and uh, it must be a great blessing to the generations because the other next generation would be only on, on the phones we, we 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 don't know what it is going to be so it is more beneficial for us if there is an app that is going to come and I pray for that uh, and also thank you very much for this sessions that was very wonderful for us. I have been uh, doing ministry since 15 years and I have been blessed by this two days program, the Today with God. I have learned some things newly. We have to study the word, every word of God, every word by word and meditate it. And this program has uh, reminded me and taught me uh, the new things about the Word of God, how to come to the Word of God and what to, uh, how to study and how to the applicable into the life and preach to the people and churches and youth camp. 
and especially I wanted to take this one into my church youth camp. Uh, when I take this, when I teach this uh, into my youth camp, the youth may be attracted to the word of God and the taste of the word of the Lord, and they may be blessed by the Lord and encouraged to the study more and more the word of God, uh, which I learned from this uh, program. And really, it has been blessing me, and I believe this will be a blessing to my ministry and the family and people like me and like us. The, we will learn more from the Lord through your effort and through your prayers. And I give thanks for this thing, especially I give thanks to the Pastor Randy and family all together. We have uh, five churches in different villages and uh, we are doing village ministry. And uh, every day we have uh, one or two meetings, uh, family gatherings. And through the family gatherings, uh, prayer meetings, we want to uh, show the videos and uh, we want to uh, tell them in a depth way, uh, word of God. We want to share the word of God in a depth way. And we are so happy to work together uh, with you. And uh, from now, uh, we want to start this uh, programs and project uh, in our ministry. And uh, wherever we go there, and uh, we want to do uh, this is our uh, daily program. And whenever we want to go, and we want to reach the people, we want to more people bring, bring them into Christ. And we are, we are so happy. Thank you so much for this project work. Thank you. I attend this uh, Today with God program in Hyderabad. Uh, really, God uh, only brought me here because I don't know uh, this, uh, uh, this kind of uh, teachings uh, nowadays. Uh, it is very uh, important for uh, the, uh, reaching the unreached people because uh, nowadays uh, uh, many persecution is going on in this current country. So such kind of, this kind of uh, uh, events uh, should uh, uh, really, people should attract and they should accept Jesus Christ as their personal savior. Because this uh, Today with God project is uh, uh, really uh, influenced the people. They should uh, know how the Jesus came to earth, what he done for the human being and uh, what is the benefit uh, to the human being if they will believe Jesus Christ. So Jesus uh, really, uh, I thank Jesus and uh, all the uh, Today with God team, especially uh, this uh, uh, Reverend uh, Ben and Josh and all the team and I convey my regards to uh, their father also all the team who are doing this ministry uh, throughout this globe uh, today I blessed and uh, privileged to have this uh, meeting and I, now I am returned back to my home place I want to do this uh, uh, this kind of ministry is also influenced to our ministry. So thank you. Once again, convey all our uh, all my heartly regards to you, one and all. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. It, it will uh, influence many people. They should receive Jesus Christ. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. May God bless you. Thank you, one and all. God bless you. As you can imagine, a project like this is huge. We're working and doing everything we can to get this developed. But obviously, we need help. We know that this is much bigger than us. We know that it's much more than any of the resources we have. And we're hoping that you can help. I want you to understand, I don't get paid by Crosstalk. My brother doesn't get paid by Crosstalk. My father doesn't get paid by Crosstalk. All of the money that comes in goes to resource projects just like this. And we want to know if you can help. We have information on the screen right now with the phone number, the P.O. box, the website. And if you can give a dollar, you can give $100, you can do whatever you can, it would go a long way towards helping us get this entire project developed and sent out around the world. Until next time, shalom and God bless.